Hey y'all! Hey everybody! <laughs> hey everybody! Do you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So um, we have Grace back on this this I week. Know you miss me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, for the uh, for the video people, she's wearing the same sweatpants. <laughs> I didn't wash them either. I've been letting them marinate for what like two weeks. I just put them in the corner in a sack. <laughs> they shake it every day. It's like a terrarium. <laughs> Let them grow. You, you literally have you an ecosystem wanna, up in that. No, bed. you don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah, literally. Trust me. Literally. You don't want to see that. So we just decided we're just going to do a uh, part two because yeah. we didn't finish what we what all we needed to say. Because we can just yap forever. So. Yap forever. Yeah. We were yapping forever. I went over to Grace's house again today <laughs> and I, was, I got there at like 4.45 and I... No, literally. We just left, so... And yeah. it's 8 now, so... Yeah, we can yap for like an extended amount of time. Mm-hmm. So... Absolutely. Today, we're just gonna finish up on what we were talking about last... Two weeks ago. We're gonna try. Yeah, try. Last last time we left off on porn. <laughs> I was trying to. I was sitting there. I was like, "What did we leave off on?" Am I like, I was like, pretty sure like books and stuff, like good <laughs> literature. I, mean, I, go, I go, let me look it up, and I was like, go back to the YouTube, and I look it up, and we left off on porn. <laughs> She's. I'm trying to find like something. She goes, "We left off on porn." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." I was like, yeah, that's a pretty good place to leave off on. <laughs> and we also were at, at the house. We were. Chill out. No. <laughs> um, at, we, at the house, we were talking about um, this other piece that <laughs> Grace drew, and it was for a letter, and her letter was G. I talked about this last time. It's a G, and it, you know, big capital G, and it has a gorilla <laughs> swinging down from the top, and then another one on this part. <laughs> It's like this. <laughs> she has a whole ecosystem in the like, curvature. Wait. I was like, please, okay, stay with me now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we started looking through her oh thumbnails and shit, and um, we found Jared the ghost. Basically, what they're trying to say is that I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm literally a modern day genius, and like, just no one really appreciates my work. <laughs> that part. And uh, we were making, we had a voice for him and shit. And Grace <laughs> literally said what you were saying for him because this is so He's funny. Like, I'm gonna go home and beat my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm secretly a homosexual. <laughs> but I'm going to go beat my wife. <laughs> I hate gay people. <laughs> I hate gay people. I am gay. <laughs> I am gay. Hey. Bradley's up in the building. Come say hi. <laughs> Period. Second appearance. He's wearing pink. He's wearing pink. Yeah. God, crazy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so that was pretty funny. Anyways, we're going to talk about what are we going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> we both forgot what we were Sorry, gonna... I have to be on my oh. phone a little. Wait, can we talk about Bluetooth vapes real yeah, fast? <laughs> totally. Okay, so I work at Headhunters, which is a smoke shop, if y'all don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and I sell vapes. And um, I, we carry those Bluetooth vapes. I don't want to get one, though, because I'm afraid I will get addicted to it. So... <laughs> sorry so one of my friends that i know like they always have the craziest fucking like vapes i've ever seen and i'm like where'd you get these from i think it's from like i don't know some weird one on like university or whatever oh like yeah not a smoke scene or something like that yeah and like he always be bringing like the craziest like the last one he had it's like one part's the vape, the other part's the battery, mm -hmm. and it, like, magnetic mm -hmm. connects. And then the ones I've been seeing are, they have the screen on them. Yeah. And then it plays that one song. It's like, I'm on a good cushion, I'm gonna... Oh, <laughs> I got some damn yeah, bitches I like could go. I don't know what I would do <laughs> without y'all. <laughs> I'm a ball oh, to the day. <laughs> Ball, ball, ball. <laughs> Long as my bitch love me. Uh. That's literally what the vape says. <laughs> um, <laughs> my Bluetooth vape. Yeah. And so then they advanced to the like, okay, I never had seen a screen one in real life until yeah. my friend got one. And they called it the Daft Punk vape. 
Because it just would like light up with like this would look like a like Daft Punk cover. And so every time they did it, just be like Daft Punk's calling. Daft Punk, Daft Punk. But the ones that you can actually, they have ones that you can call off of. Do y'all have those? I don't know if you can. I know you can connect it to your phone and like send mm-hmm. messages. I'm not sure if you can call. Again, I don't. I don't want to get one. I don't want to <laughs> learn about you it. Don't I don't. Indulge. I don't even want to sell it to people. And it's like super cheap too. So it's not even upselling. It's stupid. That's, yeah, that's pretty concerning. Though. Yeah, like have it at forty bucks. It's whole. Ha, it has it's a whole a Bluetooth. Phone. It's a phone. <laughs> that part. Well, that's what I'm saying. I saw this TikTok. Once again, everyone knows I'm addicted to media. <laughs> and this bitch was like, she's like, he's blocked me on everything except for my babe. <laughs> and she's scrolling through it. It has like music, all that stuff. And she's, and it's like literally like, a, like you can just call them. Yeah. So it's got to have a microphone. God. A speaker. God damn. A touch me, You know what? Let's, instead of Roy giving us the mics, let's get the Bluetooth <laughs> Connected to the thing. I'm calling you off my Bluetooth. <laughs> I mean, Bluetooth, <laughs> babe. I just don't, I don't even rip it. I just call people off of it. It's, it's my uh, burner phone. <laughs> yeah, like when your parents take your phone away. <laughs> You're like, oh, you- well, <laughs> joke's on you, you. dad. <laughs> it's like people joking, like, oh, I'm going to send you a message off of the Samsung fridge. No, I'm sending you a message off my Bluetooth, babe. Bro, I wonder if you can watch porn on it. It Problem, got, it if got, it has a screen, got it can Firefox? be seen. <laughs> <laughs> if it has a screen, it can be seen. That part! That, that's, oh my God, quote from Grace King. If it has a screen, <laughs> it can be seen. <laughs> that was the whole thing with like AO3 and Wattpad. Yeah. It was like, if it has a screen, it can be that seen. That part, that part. That shit's so <laughs> fucking funny. Bluetooth vapes, bro. Fuck off. That just, I don't, like, we went from, like, early 2000s, like, flip phones to having Bluetooth vapes. Like, we should be having hovering cars. cars. <laughs> yeah, they said cars. that's the thing. It's like, <laughs> cars. it's like hovering cars. <laughs> like Literally. that, and then it just slides. Bluetooth, Bluetooth vape. vape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... God, it's just like, shut up! It's like Bluetooth tequila or something. They just put it on the outside of the bottle. They give you like a little chip to put in you so you can get drunk <laughs> by the Bluetooth. You know, I would like to say that if you put a tr- like a tracker or a phone on you a bottle your of shoes vodka, off. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you put that on a bottle of vodka, a microphone, like Hell a phone. Yeah. That's staying with you the whole night. You won't ever Hell lose that. Hell yeah. Gripping it like a like a toddler mm-hmm. at a family function with a chicken tender. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like they're, they shake it like this. They're like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they never lose that. Chicken you, you can always contact that person. Yep. Oh my god. You Genius. know what? I uh I was working with um this girl, her name's Kate. Uh, she, we were working together yesterday and she has, did you see that fly buzz like that? That was crazy. He vibrated. (laughs) (laughs) He vibrated, bro. Anyways, um, she has those, uh, I don't know, the suction cup thing on the back of her phone or whatever. Uh The Octo button or whatever. She can put her whole vapes on there, her ID and shit. That shit's cool as fuck. Yeah, but I feel like if I had the, like, that shit, I would lose all my cards. Yeah, I I already do lose all my cards. Same. And I, like, Uh. my, (laughs) hell yeah. I, like, have my, uh, See, cute, that's cute ass phone case. I don't want to cover it. And it's like half of the fucking phone case. So it's like, oh, dude, mine's the same one I've had for years. It's scratched to shit and has a sticker of panda on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can literally see, like, part of, like, a piece of fruit that's stuck behind <laughs> the case. I thought he was holding a heart. No, I thought he was holding, I thought he was, no. like, hovering a heart. It's just my grubby ass It's like, that's case, cute. Bro. Let me see. Bro, I genuinely thought that was a heart. It's okay. It is a heart. Yeah. Are you trying to seduce me again? She's trying yeah. to seduce me again. Holy shit. It I gotta go. Every time we hang out. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking through um, uh, <laughs> our saved shit in our Snapchat, and there's this. Hold on. I had to play the know, audio. Play, I had to play, play the, for the audio. audio. It's so fucking funny. We were just looking through it because we were just. I'm gonna play yours first, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yahweh is just so fucking funny. Genuinely, and I'm gonna be honest, all the snaps she sends me are on the toilet. <laughs> we were talking about that too. This is one. Of the- I can't wait for you to kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't wait for you to kiss me. This one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Play it again. <laughs> I don't even think I can do that right now. Uh, I can't do it right now. <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> and every video, my default, if I don't know what's going on, it's either like the smoldering, like the smoldering face, or just like the like sideways mouth, like the. <laughs> Because I don't know what she's saying to me. At the time, she was on the toilet, like, drunk or something. And so then, she's like, uh, when, can, when can I kiss you? <laughs> when can I kiss, kiss you? you? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm going to throw up. My stomach hurts from laughing. Oh, my God, I'm crying We just a need bit. to get off social media completely. Just delete this. You know what? Maybe one day that'll happen, but not right now. <laughs> Holy I shit. love social media. I, I love Need social it. media. <laughs> oh, please don't take it away from me. Me when they took mine away. <laughs> me when my parents took my phone. No. <laughs> me when I get my Bluetooth vape. <laughs> when your Bluetooth vape dies. <laughs> your Bluetooth device is ready to be paired. Connection, uh... Successful? <laughs> oh, shit. Like, I just don't <sighs> get it. Oh, my God. I'm dizzy from laughing so much. <laughs> Holy shit. Maybe Already. I'm just Maybe I'm just a young kid. No. But I just... <laughs> <laughs> I can see the wrinkles under your eyes. <laughs> that's graphic design. Yeah, honey. That's know. That shit, yeah. I won't even tell you about the terrorist attack today. Yeah. We're moving, <laughs> we're moving on from that. That's well, going to come up in probably yeah, a couple weeks. We'll, yeah, we'll talk about that when when we're ready to talk about that <laughs> shit. Um, we got a new green screen. Um, what are you going to put behind us? Floating. My love and appreciation for Grace King. Can it just be the Bluetooth vape? <laughs> That shit's funny. No, my brother made, uh, hopefully it's showing. We'll see. Um, but my brother made. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> but it's a version of me that my brother drew. So that's She'd what's be looking going. like an episode character. Hell yeah, but quote better. Back from the, <laughs> quote back from the last episode. Uh, hope you've been watching. <laughs> uh, hope you've been watching. <laughs> Anyways, shout out Hayden. Love you, brother. W Hayden. Yeah, he's w in great. The chat. W in the chat, brother. Uh, yeah, he made it in like two days too. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I he can't do shit in two days. He's an iPad kid, like legit iPad kid. He be drawing on that hoe. Ty makes all his tattoos. If y'all yeah, need a true. tattoo, go uh, follow Yats by Haiti. I don't know the exact spelling. There might be an underscore I'm in there. Sure. But I'm sure she'll link it, maybe. Yeah, we'll link it. <laughs> we'll link so. it. When I post it on Instagram, I'll link him. Anyways, um, we're going to talk about... Sorry, I was looking at your toes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what you don't see is I'm picking at them under the table. No. Just, <laughs> I do that, like, subconsciously. I didn't even notice. I do that, too. <laughs> do when I'm watching and that. And then I <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, damn. <laughs> when I'm watching, I'm still doing it. <laughs> I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Me too. Oh, my God. When I'm watching, like, videos and shit, when I'm on YouTube, I'll do that, too. <laughs> and you know what? And Peter can attest to this. I in <laughs> Next to the... In the chair... I sit in this, the one green recliner in the living room, like, that's my chair. That's her chair. And next to it is this little, like, oh. little side table where it has a drawer. I have a specific toe-picking <laughs> knife in there. It's, like, got a, like, a You inch. offered it to me the yes. last time because I was picking my toes. <laughs> yeah. And you go, do you want the toe-picking toe knife? <laughs> no, it's got the perfect curved edge. And you can go around your cuticles. You can get under the toenail. If they're, I mean, if they're grubby. 
That part, I'm clean cleaning them. them. Clean them. I'm cleaning them. That motherfucking pod. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That part. Oh my god. Y'all be hating on the toe picking knife, but you maybe you should pick your toes. <laughs> you probably you. nasty. Your toes are nasty. If you don't pick at your toes. What are you nasty. doing? Literally. What are go you doing? Go take a shower. Go wash your ass. Because literally, me. literally, if you don't pick your toes, you don't clean your ass. Period. That guy's walking his cat on a leash just right in front of us. ASMR. I just saw him <laughs> his cat with the fucking he's, leash. But he's walking his cat? Yes, on a leash. And it took everything no in me way. not to scream. <laughs> no way. No way. Did he pass? He yeah, he went that way. Okay. I if it, if the guy was leash. walking his cat on a leash. Oh my god. He also had a stick in his underhand. Oh. He hiked him with his cat? <laughs> <laughs> in Lubbock, <laughs> Texas? Right up there. In the plains? <laughs> in the flatlands? It's about to come up and <laughs> loop around here. Oh my god. Oh my. We're hearing things. Yeah, no. Oh, speaking of, we're going to talk about some creepy pasta too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what we were going to talk about. You go first. Who's uh, your favorite creepy pasta? I don't know. I'm trying to remember. What was that dog one? Do you remember the, one the where dog? It licks like the people's hands, but it's not actually a dog. No, it was like a scary dog. Oh, I don't even remember. Okay, the one I had was Jeff the Killer. Yeah, and it's just like the white man. <laughs> the white men are the scary. White man. <laughs> the white man. <laughs> that explains it's scary. <laughs> Very scary. It's, this is rampant around the internet. Um, Jeff the Killer is. Um, Evil protagonist of one creepy pasta's original story. Okay, well tell me what it is. Tell me what it is, bitch. It was on 4chan, obviously. Has an anime ad- adaptation. Um, so he's the like equivalent of like Slenderman kind of. Basically, what I'm getting is is that he touches children. <laughs> What I've gathered. <laughs> the touching children part is not funny. The fact that you just. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's what I've gathered is that he just touches children. That's the whole thing. Like on 4chan, they're like, oh, like the 13 year old boy. Uh, he's scared because he thought he was going to get touched by Jeff the Killer. God damn it. And I wish I knew more lore on that. I could probably give you that like 10 years ago. Yeah. No, and that's why I can't really think of too, too many. Sorry. Y'all. But see, like my thing, like my main creepy pasta in quotes was like, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Like, to this day, I still watch lore videos. Yeah. Like, I could give you a rundown of the lore. What's his name that played in the... Josh Hutcherson? Josh Hutcherson. No, but... Peter! Yeah. Peter! No, but Scoop Shaggy, the guy that played... um, Oh, yeah. uh, Golden Freddy, the guy or whatever. Oh, what's his name? Not Night Guard. William something. Yeah. Yeah. He was also shaggy. I forget his but name. But also, he's really hot. He's so I hot. I don't care how old he is. He just gets hotter and hotter with when his old age. When he took that mask off, I was like, mm, uh, <laughs> oh, hands it's is like, in my pants. Like, oh, my God. Um, I'm beating my bean. <laughs> I was like, is this inappropriate? <laughs> oh. I was like, it's also, it's not a children's movie. Yeah, you're fine. That was that was a freaky movie because I wasn't I into love that movie. I liked that movie too. I I just like couldn't really get into it because I wasn't into that. I wasn't mm-hmm. into Five Nights at Freddy's. It freaked me out. Hayden was though. Mm-hmm. My brother was. But we could yap about that. Yeah. I made like some of my friends watch like a two hour lore video. What's the it. lore? Tell me the lore. <sighs> just crazy guy. Summary. He wants to make these animatronics. His friend said, "Don't do that anymore" because it killed a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. Then it bit his kid head off and then scooped out his son and they made a weird mangly thing and then he was going to come back. His friend burned him. And they kept hoping in restaurants for some bum-ass reason. Um, and then they basically twirling. come back and, like, kill each other again. And then, like, if we're going to get into glam rock, like... <laughs> You're twirling and then, the, and, then, and then the famous line of the goes, I always come back. <laughs> That's basically right. it. Like, it's kids... Babies in the street. <laughs> Do the thing. God, I wish I could sleep. Babies in the street. <laughs> babies raising babies. Back when I was babies on TikTok. Babies adopting <laughs> babies. <laughs> Shout out Gabby Hanna. <laughs> At Gabby Hanna. <laughs> what a bomb she is, bro. God, did you see that she's outperforming now? She like I had did a little- see that and I saw one of her videos and I genuinely got scared. Yeah. 
She was jumping up and down in that little bear thing. I said, what even is your act, honey? No, like, what song requires you to do that? Literally. I think she was singing like, a, a slow song, a slowish song, too. And she's, like, jumping up and down. I could say that for a lot of artists, though. Yeah. Like, pink spinning in a circle. And oh, yeah. Thing. Like, what but song? I do love pink, though. She can sing. And she, she just can. does that. Yeah. For, for but, like, the people are like, what song does she need to be doing this for? <laughs> like, uh, raise your glass. Yes. <laughs> The Spongebob movie one? She was in, She sang a song for oh, the Oh, um, we got scurvy. <laughs> I need some vitamin C. Uh, yeah. I think, need some vitamin C. Dude, me and my cousin still listen to the Spongebob soundtrack. Yeah, no, that shit. Me and, Hayden, me and Hayden listen to that as a it's bumping, ch- children. Bro. It's bumping, Um, What's that one song? Carrie, come home. Carrie, come home. Carrie, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, um. When he ripped his pants, I know Big Larry came down and she pulled him down. SpongeBob turned into a clown, and nobody ever wants to dance with a fool and went and ripped his pants. I know I got a problem, but you made me so it's the best <laughs> ever, best day ever. <laughs> The rest of the podcast is just us singing fucking Spongebob Bob. songs. Oh, my God. Dude, I love Spongebob songs. I love Spongebob, too. I, I unfortunately didn't get to, um, like, watch a lot of Spongebob just because my stepdad at the time was, like, it represents the seven change. I can always tell when people are like, my parents didn't let me watch my drugs. Okay, yeah. that's, I can tell because you're boring. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. But I like, snuck it. Mm-hmm. Just like I snuck Glee, he wouldn't let, sh- let me oh, watch Glee. Oh, we were talking about Glee earlier, too. Yeah. I'm a Gleeker. He, he, I'm a Gleeker, too. When Ooh. I see Will Schuster, Will Schuster kind of scares me. Yeah. When he sang the thong song. Yeah. Or when he had those, when, we ha- when they had the Glee, uh, the Rocky Horror. Oh yeah, Rocky Horror. Oh he my was god. Trying to be like, do well, the Rocky Horror with the kids. Yeah. Remember when um he like for in one of the first episodes they did uh push it mm-hmm. and it was because oh, yeah. of him or no Quinn. no it it yeah it was Quinn mm-hmm. um but like he he was like he he didn't get on to them that that harsh about it so I mean kind of sus kind of sus. And then he did, God, there's so many, like, yeah. things we could talk about in that. That could be a whole nother podcast, Yeah, honestly. that's that's crazy. Fucking Glee, bro. Like that, oh, speaking of Glee, that makes me think of Jeffree Star. <laughs> Go ahead. What are your opinions on Jeffree Star? Oh, that bitch could die, and I don't really care. <laughs> like, he's just, like, I, li- I watched him a lot mm-hmm. as, as a... As a young adult, mm-hmm. and I now it's just super controversial, and I just like try to. I watch what I like. Like, do you know who Mariah Elizabeth is? Mm-mm. She repaints squishies, Aww. the squishies and shit. And I, she's just really funny. She has like like blatant sarcastic humor, mm-hmm. and I eat that shit up. So it's like, yeah, I used to be a big Jeffrey Star fan. And, like, I will give him this. His makeup is really good. Oh, it is. 100%. Which is very unfortunate. Yeah. But, like, and then he started to the whole yak thing. And then he, like, rebirthed himself mm-hmm. in Wyoming and does yak stuff now. Which, I mean, I'm going to say good for him because I guess he's taken a step away for that. Yeah. But he's still very. <clears throat> same thing with Shane Dawson, too. Yeah. Well, remember, like, they had that whole thing. The collab. The collab. And, and I then, love Shane Dawson, like, conspiracy theories, too. Mm-hmm. I and love then, that. boom, right after that collab, everything started getting exposed and all that shit. That literally goes for any YouTubers now. Yeah. Like, pretty much, like, 80% of them, mm-hmm. they're getting popped out for. Yeah. Which, literally anything. cancel culture is very interesting. Like, sometimes I agree with it, sometimes I, I don't. don't. Yeah. Also, I would say the one thing... Jeffree Star has done recently is um, he's been helping Eugenia Cooney. Mm-hmm. I, don't remember, I don't know if you remember the Shane Dawson thing that he did on her. No. He did like a, th- like, um, kind of like this regular, like, interview thing. They, with, what, what's her name? Like, that swamp girl or whatever. 
I used to be obsessed with her. Uh, Bunny. Sw- oh, yeah. I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, she's that like a... I, some, it'll come to me eventually. Yeah. She's a but, makeup mogul, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was never controversial. I loved her. Mm-hmm. But he did one of those on her, and then she kind of started relapsing. Into her, I mean, she never really got good, mm-hmm. obviously, but I think... Jeffree Star kind of took her in recently, and she's been, like... I saw that. She's been doing, like, more... She's doing her makeup stuff again, yeah. which I know she likes to do. Mm-hmm. And, like, she's looking like she's actually... Happier. She, she's getting a little bit healthier at a time. Obviously, it's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. But I think that's, like, probably one of the best things he's doing now. Yeah. But is he doing that to kind of rebirth himself, or... I don't, what do you think? I don't think so, because she... He doesn't really ever like be like oh i'm helping eugenia cooney yeah she's the one that came out and was like i think at his house and be like i'm gonna do my makeup today Mm -hmm. so i think that's it's a little less sus yeah less sus but i do there's a lot of people (coughs) do you know about the world of t-shirts guy yes i do anita told me about it yeah what do you think about that oh my god same thing is kind of happening to him with that one guy He's, like, helping him or whatever. Mr. Bass. Yeah, that's yeah. where I was going to go with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I saw that not too long ago, and I was I, I was kind of intrigued just because, like, he got, like, World of T-shirts. Uh, what's his name? Josh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Josh was, like, he was getting real bad, and he's autistic, too, so mm-hmm. it, it makes it even worse with the col- whole control thing. Mm-hmm. And so at First, I was like, what is this guy doing? Like, because he's still allowing him to drink. But then I went kind of deeper, and it was like, if he was like, um, what do he say? If Josh stops drinking right now, he's going to die. He's at the point of alcoholism where if he yeah. takes a break one yeah, day, saw that. he'll die. And I don't know if I necessarily believe that because, like, I get it, but, like, at the same time. Well, because I remember him from his, like, coffee and boba mm-hmm. like before he started drinking <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, in the sorry. mic yeah. hell yeah excuse me excuse me um but i mean it's just sad because he's like deteriorating so fast and like the people that do like the his standard drink is like and like the video of him trying to drink water and he like physically can't do it what like he's like but all the drinks like he can't even like like a twi- like he loves twisted tea mm-hmm. and he can't even like drink those like he's like he physically like but the thing is like when i saw him like trying to drink water i was like oh but this thing like mr bass is like he's just like capitalizing off of him yeah and he's taking all of josh's money too Mm -hmm. from the streams and stuff yep and then at least josh now is kind of like i'm trying to set he's trying to set boundaries with mr yeah so i think that's good because like i mean he's still just like he's using that yeah 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 and that happens a lot which is unfortunate yeah and is it um, isn't that guy, um, gay too? He's like a gay... Well, Mr. Bass, he went, he was in jail. Okay. He did something that was like, something along the same lines. Oh, okay. And so, I think now he's, he's just doing the same thing. Yeah. That's what happens. I don't know, like... He needs to go to a rehab facility. Yeah. And I, I mean... Yeah, if he can't even drink water, he needs to go to a Yeah, facility. if you can't even drink water, that's saying something. They need to get him off all the alcohol, yeah. give him an IV. Just get, go through the detox. It just yes. sucks, like, because, like, when he you're... He's so very heavy, like, yeah. I... Yeah, like, it's bad. It's bad. It's hard to talk about, too, and, like, come to words, too, because it's, like, ugh. It is bad. Like, I can't even... Yeah. Like, the people, like, if you literally just look up, like, what he drinks in a day... Yeah, they like, were doing the counts and shit, too. Mm-hmm. And it's like his standard drink is like four shots of whiskey. That's a standard drink. So that would For be him. like, yeah, like be having like a beer. But yeah. instead it's like four shots of whiskey is a standard drink for him. Yeah. Which is insane. That's insane. Yeah. And like, and I, he does it all day, multiple times a day. Not even the frat people here do it like that no i mean, I mean he's past something. the point he's past the point i think he has been slowing down though which is good but like at the same time he's still drinking and that's not what he should be doing well mr and, base is just using him yeah i mean he's autistic yeah 
and he's just using that against him yeah which is very unfortunate that's another thing too like when you're autistic you feel things a lot differently and it's a lot worse Mm -hmm. like just feelings just in general are a lot worse for autistic people so if he were to detox like he would, would be a lot it would be a lot for him well that one time he like he was like I mean, he always, like, throws up on himself, but one of the streams, like, he called the ambulance, they came and got him, and then they were like, don't drink again, and then at 9 a.m. the next day, that was a video of him, like, chugging a a twisted tea. Bro. uh, uh. (sighs) That's why the internet, like, it's good, but it's also really bad. Yeah, it's... um, Because a lot of people just capitalize off of other people, and it happens all the time. Yeah. It's the theme of happiness and suffering, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Like that poor kid, like he takes, Mr. Bates takes all his money. And Josh is like, he's always like, well, I, you know, I get like $200 a day. No, that $200 man. $200 a that day. That man has over a million views on his TikTok every day. He should not be getting $200 a day. He, he's probably making like 500000 a month. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah. Off that and YouTube. Literally. And so Mr. Bates is taking. You're getting $200 a day. Oh my god! Yeah, that's ridiculous. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. And you know, I wanted to get famous for so long, and then I kind of started doing this podcast, and I was like, "Well, I feel famous when I do this, but it's not as bad as famous famous people have it." You know, like Mm -hmm. when they go out and it's they they expect people to, you know, the people expect. Those celebrities to, to do something, yeah, do something, perform. and like now I'm just like I can do whatever the fuck I want, kind of thing. So at yeah. first I wanted to get famous, but now I'm I'm pretty solace in where I'm at. I used to post YouTube videos, but they're always just like dumb fun with my friends. They yeah. were never like get ready with me. Yeah, me trying to do my get. Ready. And that's what literally, yeah. and that's what social media is. I feel like was supposed to be about, you know. Yeah. Put what you love out online because you love it, not because yeah. you're trying to get views. That's what all my posts are always just like something weird. Yeah. That's stuff I enjoy. And that's what I do on my snap all the yeah. time too. Like if I do a singing like I video, it's because I want to sing. Wanna, I wanna you want to sing. If I do a funny video, it's because I'm feeling funny you in that moment. You don't do it because other people tell yeah. you to. Yeah. yeah. But I will say a lot of people are enjoying it. So that's a plus. I enjoy it. I know you do. <laughs> I really enjoy your <laughs> shit too though. Like literally every time I see a Dick and Jerry's pose, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> he's, at the mo- he's doing it again. He's across the street. Like Hello, the sir. Sorry. There are a bunch of people walking out. Um, it's the cat guy. He's back. I just oh, the him. cat guy. Hey, it's some hard time again. It's the cat. She's hanging on. Uh, show the people for the viewer. The viewers. Um, oh, y'all crazy. And I think it's. Um, very much so me. Because yeah. I'm wearing a full face of makeup and I'm yeah. wearing... I was going to wear my Minion shirt. Yeah. But it was a little too see-through. <laughs> <laughs> Not the and Minion then, shirt being too see-through. It's just like sarcastic or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I wasn't going to put on a bra. That was mainly my thing. <laughs> I could have actually gotten dressed, but I chose not to because that's just who I am. I love that. Full face like, of makeup. That's how I feel a lot of the time when I first started doing like intense full face makeup mm-hmm. is I would just like do my makeup and then go in a hoodie and some sweats uh, wherever. Yeah. Like whether that be but to work. Like it's kind of like a mysterious thing. Yeah. It's like, why? <laughs> what? Are, why? Like, if I, if like, I'm going to stand up in a minute. In yeah. a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but you're going to be like, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's confusing, and my but delightful. my marinated, like, sweatpants, my toe-picking knife is out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a delightful I'm going to get her to use a toe-picking knife when I, we get back. Hell yeah. I picked all my nail polish off. Dude, I've had this on for too long. It needs to be picked up. I need to go. What happened to your toe? I picked at it too much. You did that? Yeah, so I was trying to saw off my, like, callous skin, and I went too far one day. <laughs> she started bleeding profusely from no, her toe. No, I, I didn't even start bleeding. Oh, and then okay. I just, like, when I would walk around. And it looks like that, and you didn't start bleeding? Girl, yeah. it's hard. <laughs> 
<laughs> and like, I, cause like my feet are made of just like bricks. Like I can yeah, walk on like a yeah. hot, like a hot coal. And then after I cut like half of my skin <laughs> off, I was walking. I was like, ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> I was like, I need my shoes on. <laughs> I, I uh, stubbed my ankle the other day, like two days ago, and it cut it. And like I put a sock on because I had to go to work and shit. And I was sweating through it. And it was just oh, stinging dude, that and shit. shit. Burns. I was like, oh, it burns. And then I, <laughs> help. Help. <laughs> What's the thing? Help. The killer is escaping. <laughs> help. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was doing that the entire time. Really. I, I took my sock off and it peeled back. I said, <gasps> you know when you get a yeah. like a butt cramp, like a butthole cramp, and you're like, <gasps> it was like that when I took earlier that. Earlier in class, but it was my bicep. Uh, just too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just trying to stretch. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I had like an old woman pain in my arm. Ooh. Yeah, like, Ooh. 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 I just couldn't flex too hard, you know. Ooh. I didn't want to show off. Like That's too Grace, much. though. Like, I've seen Grace's... Uh, people are going to get too nervous if I flex. I, you I've know? seen your uh, wrestling days. <laughs> Those are hot. <laughs> you showed them to me, <laughs> and I said, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go beat my beat. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get back to that. Bro. That shit was... I was, I was fit. E you wouldn't Bro. believe the state I'm in now, but I was fit. It's Bro, like, she was back like, in my oh. day. <laughs> back in my day. I, I used to be fat. I used to be fat. Yeah, every time I I'm like. I was hitting all them <laughs> suckers. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I used to be a wrestler. And they go, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> my build is literally just. <laughs> just a big rectangle. Bro, you're like, but you're like. Um, they used to call me the fridge. <laughs> How does that make y'all feel? We're not going to talk about that. I was just a tank. Absolute unit. Big old. Boop, boop, boop. Literally, I'm still a unit to this day. Hell yeah, you is. <laughs> Hell yeah, you backup. is. That part. Have you seen um, the new uh, movie, Love Lies Bleeding? Mm -mm. It's about that wrestler or whatever with uh, Kristen, the girl from... I haven't been keeping up on movies. Bella from Twilight. Kristen Stewart. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She's in it, and she plays the main girl she's uh gay though and i hate how much i, 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 <laughs> I hate how much sexuals <laughs> <laughs> what did we say earlier i love calling them that word that's word. <laughs> i love women on women i hate men on men <laughs> i hate men on <laughs> men <laughs> but women on women i can I get like, by <laughs> I <kinda> like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking right. that shit's funny dude gerald the ghost I'm going to put that in the edit this oh, time yeah. for sure. Yeah, you could take a picture of that. Hell yeah. He serves. No, he does. He used to have a top hat. Man. Man. I don't, I don't even want to get into it. It's, it's too emotional for me. It is. Uh, everybody else was like, keep the he should have to keep the top hat, but fuck. I know. Back to Dirk. <laughs> joking i'm please joking. i'm no. joking i'm joking no nah, but see what my fable tells back to the uh creepy pasta shit oh yeah like who's your favorite serial killer oh serial or killer most interesting most interesting um that uh john wayne gacy mm. that was interesting mm -hmm. and um what's his face uh did you watch uh, the Dan Schneider thing about mm -hmm. Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. uh, was it Dan Schneider or the other guy that had it that? Dan, it was Dan Schneider. It was Dan? He had like the signed... Uh, they were the like pin pals. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, yeah, they were like pin and pals no one or thought something. That was weird. Nobody thought that was weird. All the parents are like, when he went and was like, this is my clown drawing from John Wayne Gacy. That's fucking weird. Should you not have... That's why I'm like... <clears throat> if I was in a horror movie... Mm-hmm. Like, and someone said, Intriguing. or like, I'm pen pals with Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm going to walk straight up out that bitch. Hell, hell no. I'm not doing and neither that. neither would I let my kid do that either. Hell no. And that was with, what, Drake Bell and shit? Yeah, that shit was sad. Because he so turned sad. to an alcoholic. Yeah. Which he kind of, he had every right to do so. Yeah. Like, but then he, he got into it with that uh, one underage kid or something mm -hmm. like that, too. And you know what? It's so true. Time, tale told, uh, what's it saying? Tale is old as time. time. That part. Um, victims become. Um, like the, victims become predators? Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
it's like when bullies, why they bully is because yeah. they're bullied, you know? So. But then it also comes from like people that were bullied their entire childhood, should have become a villain, and then they turn that into something good. Yeah. So it can go either way. Yeah. I get both sides. Yeah, I get both sides too, for sure. But Drake Bell, I'm glad that he said something though, because fuck. I love Ariana Grande, but fuck Ariana Grande for not saying anything. Like, yeah, I mean, she was she was so deep in it though. Yeah, and she still kind of is, kind of thing. Janet McCurdy too. Yeah, McCurdy, McCurdy. Janet McCurdy, is. yeah. She wrote that book though. Yeah, good for her. Yeah, good for her. She kind of made her own kind of thing rather yeah. than the documentary. But I think I just think Ariana Grande was too far in it. Yeah, like she was. It was bad for her. Yeah, they just kept dumbing her down every season. Well, look at her now. Like she. Is Acting so, like a kid. she and she's so skinny again. Like, yeah, I, she plumped up for a little bit and then like. Well, that also I, I think is part of the media too. Yeah, it's like when Selena Gomez mm -hmm. she gained a bunch of weight from her, you know, lupus or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they just bullied her, and then now she's skinny again. Same thing with Billie Eilish, Lana mm -hmm. Del Rey. Yep. God, I feel so bad for Lana Del Rey. Like, like you said earlier, like media is one of the best things, but also one of the baddest things mm -hmm. on this planet. It's so sad. Choose what you share. That part. But John, back to John Wayne Gacy. Fucking all the, the whole... bodies he hid under his floors. There was so many that their the telltale bones, heart, bro. The their bones Not fused even. together, like other people's bones fused together, because there's just so many of them. That like, shit is that not, nuts. Does that not disturb you? <laughs> <laughs> that I not disturb you? <laughs> I boil. Does that not disturb you? She might kill me later. I might. I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. Just playing. I'm playing. Or am I? <clears throat> no, but I think I really, not that I really liked, but I found it interesting about what he did. Because I just like, I'm trying to, I always try and think like, why do they do that? Yeah. I think that way too. I'm like, okay, but why? Like, I don't Something know. Same about thing his mother, with right? Yeah, and also his dad was just kind of like, you're never gonna be anything. Yeah. But then like also the fact that, and I think it was a couple states over, or whatever. He like, I think he hit his wife, and then he also had a charge of like touching a minor or whatever. I don't know what the mm -hmm. specific charge was. And then he moved to wherever he went. Mm -hmm. Then they didn't know anything about him, mm -hmm. and then they kind of like idolized him, and so then that's when everything, they're like, oh, there's actually like a million bodies under his house. Yeah. So, well, um, what was that one a uh, serial killer story that uh, uh, American Horror Story did on that? Oh, the, the clown guy. No, I'm talking about the. Um, I'm talking about the hotel. The hotel. Yeah. That yeah, yeah Evan he had, Peters he had, played. The, he had the bodies in the wall. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. And you never know who the fuck you're talking to. That's also the thing with like Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Like the that one time one of his victims got away mm -hmm. and then the police found him and they just he was like, Oh no, he's just he's acting up, you know. Yeah. Or whatever, because he's African American. So they were just like, Oh, yeah, just go with that that white guy. And so then they just like, mm -hmm. he was literally drilling holes in their head, pouring acid in them. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like, it, did you watch that film with, uh, or the movie, or the show with uh, mm -hmm. Evan Peters in mm -hmm. it? Perfect Evan Peters look like, or yeah. uh, Jeffrey Dahmer also look who, alike. Um, who that was that white black guy? Girl? Oh. <laughs> There's another white guy that did another Jeffrey Dahmer oh, movie. Um, uh, he's hot. He is hot. <laughs> um, he is hot. He's um, blonde. I'm sure the fans know. Oh, I forget. You yeah, know what? But the other one, he also did look like him, too. Let me... Uh, that part. Excuse me. I was Let trying me to think, look what up was the mine of mine? Yeah, what was yours while mm, I looked this up? Oh. I cannot remember the guy, and I'm going to look it up. But he's the guy that said, drink the Kool-Aid. And I watched, like, so oh, many videos yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. Because... He convinced hundreds of people to just kill themselves. And, like, the fact that it started in America, and then he basically was saying he was God. He was taking a bunch of women, and he was, you know. Ross Lynch. Ross Lynch, yes. Ross Lynch, my friend Dahmer. Anyways. Yeah, can you look up the Drink the Kool-Aid Man? Yeah, I got you. 
And so then he, um, you know, obviously was taking all these women and was saying, like, I'm God, so I get to do whatever I want to you. And then his, fall, his fellowship got so big that, like, the government started getting involved. Wasn't that in uh, Waco? Was that in Waco or no? Hard. It wasn't. Then they moved to California. <laughs> it burned out the Kool Aid Man. Close but not quite. Oh shit, cult. Yeah, because then I remember they then they went to California for wherever their base was because they were getting so big. And then after the government was like, oh no, I was wrong. Jonestown. Yeah, and then yeah, because they made Jonestown mm-hmm. in California, and then they're like, you're getting too big. So then you went to Africa or whatever to be out of uh, U.S. law. And he had whatever, hundreds of thousands of pe- people or whatever. And then um, that day he knew that the people were coming to raid because someone told them, like, hey, he's, like, we have no food, nothing. Yeah. And so then um, he had, like, the U.S. came. and they, Jim like, Jones? Sh- yeah. Jim and they Jones? shot down, like, the U.S. airplane. Or not the airplane, but, like, the people in it. And then, like, that's when he was, like, drink the Kool-Aid now. So then, like, over, like, a thousand, like, a thousand people died. Yeah. Which is insane. Insane, dude. Like, that they, well, they were just so far in it, though. Yeah. That, like, they bas- they believed that that man was God. Well, and they, and they killed their children, too. Like, you yeah. know, the children that were in they it. They were like, do it to your kids first, then do it. Yeah. And then the few people that didn't, they were trying to go back on the plane. And mm-hmm. then they had his followers go and, like, kill the U.S. people trying mm-hmm. to. And then he, yeah, he got killed by gunshot and shit i think it's just so interesting how people like that and also what was that other guy i don't know that he killed that like famous wife or whatever he had like he wrote the pentagon on his or not the pentagon help Uh, Um, the pentagram the pentagram (laughs) the pentagon and then he got all those followers to go kill people oh i don't know about that one California is crazy. They no, say, that's what, every time I see one of those, mm-hmm. it's like starting in California. Literally, they say they say Florida's crazy, but like Florida people are so out in the California. open, they couldn't do serial killing. And it was always in like the seventies too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you seen uh, the uh, the Pearl Maxine series at all? Mm-mm. You should watch it. You'd like it. Um, but it kind of surrounds the latest one, Maxine, um, surrounds itself in the uh, 70s or 80s or whatever. In the 80s, I think. I don't know. Um, about kind of like the Zodiac Killer. It's not the Zodiac Killer, but mm. um, like it's kind of in the form of the Zodiac Killer, um, ba- loosely based off of that shit. So. Oh, what? They heard his dog. Oh. Oh. Anyways, that shit. Is it's a good like it's a good the seventies, eighties, and nineties. <clears throat> the craziest shit was happening. Craziest shit. Like and also, like it's still happening today that people like, I don't know. I think it's very because I used to do it too, so I understand it. Like idolizing someone mm-hmm. to the point where you think they're just like unstoppable. Mm-hmm. I mean that's what people do to presidents now and like pop stars and yeah. stuff. But I, it's just very strange that people can take like. Jim Jones, ran, just a random white man, mm-hmm. saying, God is telling me this, so y'all all drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Like, people believing that someone is God. Yeah. That they have, like, that kind of control. Is fucking crazy. Cult, cults are crazy. Yeah, no. Cults I, are crazy. <laughs> on top of that. <laughs> on top of that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think... You know, sometimes I think, though, like, uh, with, uh, like, academic shit, there can be cults built on. I mean, we've built a cult almost, basically. True. Of of funniness, I feel like. (laughs) So, I don't know. I don't know. Cults are interesting. Hi, Bradley. (laughs) Say bye. Wait, come in and say bye. Say bye? Yeah, say bye. (laughs) He's coming. Bradley's coming. Sneaking. Deuces, (laughs) Deuces, mofos. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better wish a uh, happy birthday to Bradley on Saturday. He's turning the big 3-0, period. 13 going on 30. We're going to make him wear the dress. Yes, we already talked about it. <laughs> All right, bye, Buki. All right, you too. Anyways, back to Colts and shit. Like, I don't know. Like, 
especially Mormonism. I'm oh. sorry if you're Mormon and you're watching this, but the idea that this guy came, took the Bible, then wrote his own, and then you're going to follow that, it doesn't make sense to me. No, because man-made, man-made religion is freakish to me. Like, I like get their if you, ideals are so weird. Yeah, I get if you believe in a higher power. I, that's what I do. Mm-hmm. I, believe, I believe that there is some form of God out there, but when... A man has written down scripture, and, and that goes for any form of scripture, not just the Bible, like anything. the Quran, the, you know, anything. If there's living text, I don't really believe in that. I believe in... Well, also, it's because how do you know that it's, like, you're living on a what if? Yeah, you're, you're living by somebody else's morals. You know who's got it down? Is, the, is Buddhism. Buddhism got it down. That's why they're like... The earth gives to us, we give back. Yeah, it's believing in the universe and the earth. It's as simple as that. Literally, it's as simple as that, I feel like. like, That goes on to just random white men saying, what was his name? I don't know. I feel like his name was John Smith. John John Smith. Smith. (laughs) John Smith. I don't know, whatever the Mormon book, but they're just, it's so weird. They're like, they make colonies of people because they're like, oh, we need to have as many kids as the woman can have until she dies. Yeah. And then they're like, the whole like soaking thing. Oh, you're just if you don't know what soaking is, we're not going to explain it. Go look it up. You're just having sex. Yeah, like, you're already defying one of your laws. Yeah, that's is, not. You can't have caffeine. You can't have alcohol. You yeah, can't do this and this. I'm like, who there's gave this, this dude power? There's this poem I read. It's called uh, "The Flea." I forget who it's by, but if you look up the flea poem, you can find it. Um, and it consists of this man. And it's like, like older than time, like 1850s kind of thing. Um, that's not even older than time. <laughs> to me, it is. <laughs> to me, it is. <laughs> you say. <laughs> Anyways, um, he in this poem, um, he basically is trying to get this mistress to have sex with him, and the guy who wrote this, this is funny. This is hilarious. The guy who wrote this was a preacher. He wrote tons of poetry, and he was also a preacher. He's always a preacher's man. Literally. But he's a literary genius. Like, he really is. And uh, it's basically saying, if a flea can come and bite you and me and have our blood intertwined together, why would sex be so bad if the flea lives on and it's not creating a sin? Why would that be a sin for me and you to have premarital sex and mm. and share blood, blood, blood as in sex, you know? Yeah. But the flea, and that be a sin, but the flea can live on and not commit a single sin. And mm. it, it brings in the Holy Trinity in different yeah. terms and shit. It's really interesting. I'll send it to you I later. Like but, it's, um, but it's really good. And, um, like, it expresses themes of sex in church and sex in marriage and yeah i just don't understand the philosophies of it i mean either even even all that the guy philo- all the philosophies are different he's so a like preacher. which one is which one is correct for real he's a, a whole ass preacher talking about trying to have sex with a with a mistress you know or a, a lady at least you know like it's crazy to think that back then in the 1850s people were still talking about this you know yeah well we saw a part of the Gutenberg Bible. Oh, then yeah. Then I'm like, so someone, I forgot who it was. I'm so sorry if my family I sees this. I forgot too. I don't know who wrote, um, I know it was a scribe. Yes. Um, but like, it's been reprinted so many times. There's no way that the original thing that Jesus yep. said could be exact. Yeah. Like, instead of, it's, uh, people always say a man cannot lay with a man, but it's man cannot lay with a child. Yeah. Like, so it's like, how do you... Lost in transa- translation. You recopy kind of something so many times. I could write the same story just two times, and each variation will be different. Yeah, well, and same. Now that I'm a writer, like, it is the same. It's like when you when retell I, a story. Yeah, when, yeah. I, when I write, like, reports or anything Something's about... always different. It's always different. Like, even if it's the changed to a... Uh, or oh, that's yeah like the smallest things can make the biggest of difference and like simile or uh, synonyms mm-hmm. are are very similar but they're also different terms you know mm-hmm. like they mean different things so like 
how are you going to interpret which thing is which, especially when it's been scribed so many times, written down so many times? Mm-hmm. Like, if I were to write down everything you've been saying this entire time, yep. and then I go back and I kind of look at it, and then I just kind of loosely go off it, mm-hmm. I could do that again and again and again. It's still never going to be the well, same thing and as like, you exactly said. Yeah, and, like, that that's the whole thing, too. Like, word of mouth, like, people telling stories by the campfires. Let's get really s- scenic real mm-hmm. quick. We're at you the know, campfire. We're at the campfire. We're singing songs. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Harley. <laughs> Yeah. But you know, like, I'm at the camper. Yeah, but like you know, like we tell stories, ghost stories. Back back when we were ha- like like hanging out with our girlfriends and sleeping over, we would tell ghost stories and shit. Or well, that's how the whatever. creepy pasta came along. Literally, that's that's it. But it's like in different variations, and what that person, that writer, whoever is. Same thing with thinking. I believe goes as like the Loch Ness monster. Mm-hmm. Some guys like, oh, I saw this like whale coming out of the thing and yeah kind of like a monster and Someone's you go, never that looks know like the Loch Ness monster and then it goes on like oh this variation mm-hmm. this variation this and this so I'm just like or, what uh, even like in in the bible like speaking of whales like that or that Jonah one guy and the whale? yeah Jonah and the whale or Pinocchio and the whale you know yeah like there's so many like it's just reiterated very inter- versions it's just very interesting mm-hmm. because I don't know it's just like how do you know like, if I, let's see, what's a book, like, The Book Thief. If I were to try and go, like, I know that book pretty well, mm-hmm. but if I were to go try and rewrite the book, it's, it's not going to have the same, Hell it no. might have some, it'll have the main characters, but it won't have the same details. Yeah. It's like how you recall a story from a couple years ago, that every, every time you think of it, it changes a little bit. Yeah. Should we teach a class? Probably. We should become I feel professors. like we're pretty wiseful. Yeah. We'll we're going to we're gonna rewatch this and be like, that sounds stupid. Yeah, like, everyone knows that. Uh, literally. <laughs> literally. I feel like we can explain things very well. Though, but so. I just find it interesting that it happens with every old piece of text. Yeah. Too. Old piece of text. Every The same story. thing is repeating itself. Oh, and like, That's why re- there's history. this thing that I um, saw the other day. It's uh, this video um, by, or it's like this commentary by... David Lynch and they put like a little graphic video with it mm-hmm. and it's talking about ideas and how ideas are fish what not what not basically when you have an idea when a, an idea comes across you it's like a fish and you have to catch it those mm-hmm. fish have always been there you just have and to they're catch it. you know they're they're more coming in and in because we're consuming a lot of media because we're consuming all the books that we're reading whatever 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 mm-hmm. We have so many ideas, but in different ways. And he put it perfectly. You just have to wait for it to bait and catch it. Mm-hmm. And so, therefore, you're creating I like some. That. I know, yeah, right? I like it's that. so good. <laughs> it, he also said, he also said, what I said earlier. I don't know if you caught this earlier, but um, happiness is to do, which just mm-hmm. means you just got to live your life to be happy. You, you gotta do what just you want to do. Not understand it. You just gotta do it. We're living on a floating rock. That part. Happiness is subjective. Sadness is subjective, and suffering is subjective. You know. So you just gotta like figure it out that day. And if you can't figure it out, figure it out later and just move on. Because we're just living on a dumb rock. That's what I'm saying. And also, like I think of like major historical events, like oh, Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Um, just the war Holocaust itself, too. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? What part of that story has been taken out? Mm-hmm. That's been rewritten so many times. What has been taken out? Yeah. And like, in, uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say which war because I'm gonna get it wrong and then I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get roasted. <laughs> but it was like the oh, war between the. I think it was part of the. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna reference it. <laughs> I just know this. I saw it in a documentary, guys, so please don't blame me for that. She's, she but consumes it, a lot of media. Give I do. Grace. I love documentaries. Give Grace Grace. Please. <laughs> but it was, like, the most, like, human advancements in medicine and, like, me, like medical te- technic. What's it called? Techno- technology. Technology. Like, I don't know, parts and shit. Mm-hmm. Came from, like, when the Japanese did, like, terrible, terrible experiments yeah. on U.S. soldiers. And same thing goes for... Um, I, I can't remember what the project was called, but, like, they basically told, like, a hundred, well, they're vets now, vets, they were like, you can't ever tell anyone 
that we did this, this, and this, and they did, like, which gases, like, they could throw on another, like, Japan or whatever, mm-hmm. with them, like, basically just, like, they become zombies. And so they did this without telling people, and they're still, like, I think there's only, like, five vets alive now. Oh that like, God. And they're, like, the government never gave us, like, benefits from it because they say it never happened, mm-hmm. this and this. And I'm, like, how much of that has been rewritten and taken out? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with the Bible. Same, Same thing. Yeah. Hol- like what is? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm and just, just like, both the wars, and you know what? It's just gonna keep. Here's a sad, sad thing. It's gonna keep doing that. Oh yeah. Forever they say and we ever. teach history because you need to learn from it, but it's, it's have. There's still slavery. There's still people in camps. Like yeah. it's never, it's never gonna stop. It's so. really unfortunate. Is the thing. So. Ugh. I don't know. We always start so strong, and then we always get so sad. Yeah, we always it gets do. very. Was it philosophical? Yeah. This this time was. But I will say though, like I have been in a philosophical mood recently, Me too. just because I've been doing a lot of analyses recently mm-hmm. on different types of work, and yeah. now that school has started, I'm really getting into a lot of literature that makes me very very philosophical. So same thing with my. Reading. Mm-hmm. I love it. It makes me feel like I'm a genius. <laughs> I know. I feel like a genius. Yeah, you are a genius. You're a genius. <laughs> You're d- mewing dog was the greatest thing ever. Don't don't let my genius show. I'll tell yeah, you my God. Don't let my genius show. Don't let my genius show. show. Oh, that part. That part. Well, I guess we'll end it there because I think we're about out of time. So, yeah, but thanks for coming on again. Thanks for having me. You Hell know, yeah. I'd love to be here. We didn't talk about the things that we wanted to talk about, but it's fine. We, we never will. And we you know never what? will. All of my guests, that always happens. We have like one topic to stay on top of, and we never. Yeah. Um, so, but that's the big pink pee pee show for you. Anyway, I love yapping with y'all. Thanks for having me. Yes. LPP. You know, I love you. Yes. Also, uh, we said this last episode, but follow her wherever. She- where, uh, uh, Dick and James, I don't know. whatever. Grace M. King, I don't know. Yeah. I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> Period. But Maybe follow me. <laughs> Botlet bit bookie on TikTok. Botlet. It may be even the one I just posted of me earlier. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait before we go. Can, I'm just gonna play the audio. Please what I play did. the audio. I, I I was so. <laughs> I was so optimistic to start my morning. Yes. I. I I woke up. I I did my hair. I did my eyelashes. And then this this is just what happened. Make sure it's on full blast. If it'll hey everyone, I was gonna do a day in my life at Tech this time, but then I ended up getting bullied by my professor that is 40 years old. Um, anyway, so what I'm saying is never join the graphic design program at Texas Tech, and then um, you know just basically enjoy your life and never pick up Adobe or anything. Um, anyway, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally today, I was gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna start just like maybe do like just a little like funny day in my life. And yeah, that's how it ended. Yeah, so, yeah. And then I ended up here. So don't <laughs> so. take graphic design if you if you can. never <laughs> never take it. And you know what? I literally You're dumb. <laughs> I literally, I literally got a text from Adobe today saying my billing was like messed up or whatever because I canceled it. I literally canceled it and I, I got a grace. I, like, oh. I literally go, I go, what did I say? You're like, oh no, <laughs> they're real. calling. I said they're trying to find me, <laughs> and I showed her the text and she was like, ah! And I was like, ah! Literally, we Adobe. Literally, we will never escape I just it. deleted Adobe from my fucking She's computer. Expensive too. So fucking expensive. Never <laughs> join the program. <laughs> don't do it. If there's a program, don't join it. <laughs> it's cult like. It's cult like. No, it is. Cult-like. We met in a cult. No. We met in a cult. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Thank God we didn't drink the Kool Aid. Period. Amen. Anyways, we're going to end it there. So follow me on um, the Instagram, Pink The Big Pink Poopy Show. We love her. And let me know what y'all think of the new green screen with Hayden's I projection. I don't even know what the hell is going to be back there. Yeah. If this does anything. We're going to love it, though. Honka, and honka. if you want to yeah. see more of Grace, please let me know down in the comments or on my Instagram. We're thinking of something right now. Something we're, might we're doing be a little cooking. Yeah, a little cooking. If you just like, not cleaning though. N- never. If you just never. like let us like stew, 
and like let me cook with the Word document, I promise it's gonna be good, guys. Oh, it will. I it promise. Will. Period. <laughs> But yeah, y'all do that. Follow the channel. Um, Follow PB on everything. That part. Mm -hmm. um, also, thank you, Roy. Yes. Thank you for having me. I know I'm a little freak. <laughs> <laughs> a widow freak. I think he saw me today. He was like, ah, oh, she's back. <laughs> she's back. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she's scratching his head. But egg. thank you, Roy. <laughs> yes, literally. Um, and also, we just had a, a Snake, Snake Pit, Pit Live. Live. Hell yeah. The la last weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I'm not going to say... Cause please don't quote me on it. I'm not gonna say when the next one is. Oh, Roy has all that shit. Roy, Roy has all that information, but we will be coming out with some stuff soon. Um, but yes, uh, follow the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow Roy oh, on Instagram. Yeah. And we have uh, a new podcast out uh, with Snake Pit Studios called Breaking Period. Hymen with Morgan Hyman and friends. He is phenomenal. He's a great uh, comedian. And all that shit and all that jazz. Everyone P knows is a good person. Yeah, so that go part. Give that part. A follow. But yeah, go uh, watch that on this YouTube channel as well. And I guess we'll just see you next time. So yeah. Let us cook. Let us cook. Bye, y'all. Bye.